Good morning, you expat. Welcome to the channel. I'm your host, Jay, also known as the American Expat, or that idiot, whichever you prefer. And today, I'm going to be talking about 10 reasons that you should become an expat. Stick around. <laughs> So, before getting started on the list, I thought I'd address the term expat. It does not mean that you do not love your country or something like that. It's simply a term used to describe people who live outside of their native country. So, for example, I'm an American who is uh, living in China, so I am an expat. I guess by that definition, even soldiers who have been stationed abroad are also expats. So without further delays, on to my first item. It's not boring. It's not boring. I'm guessing that a lot of you clicked on this video because you're bored. Yes, life at home can get very, very boring. You go to work, you come home, you watch TV, you watch YouTube, you eat a microwave dinner, and then you go to sleep and the next day you do it all over again. Until one day you say, I've had it. If I have to eat one more Hungry Man TV dinner, then I'm just gonna end it right here. Well, I have a solution to your problems. Move abroad, become an expat. Your life will no longer be boring. In fact, you may find that uh, everything is so different that it's like starting an entirely brand new life. Everything is new, nothing is routine. And that brings me to my second reason you should become an expat. It gives you the opportunity to reinvent yourself. A new and a different you. Perhaps one day you wake up and you realize to yourself, my life has not gone the way that I had hoped it would go. You're stuck in a dead end job. You're in a career that uh, is not satisfying. Now are you just bored, like we said with the first one, with your daily routine? Well, become an expat, move abroad because it gives you the opportunity to reinvent yourself. Maybe you look in the mirror and you just don't like who you are, which you should never dislike who you are. But anyway, besides that, uh, moving abroad gives you a chance to reinvent yourself. Moving abroad, you're leaving behind everyone you know, everyone who knows your history, your past. So you can start fresh. If you want to be a more outspoken person, if you want to be more exciting, just have a different kind of life, well, it's the perfect way to start because there's nobody holding you back. Nobody you know, none of the same old routines, completely new. And that means that you can have a completely new you. The third reason that you should become an expat, new ways of thinking. So before moving abroad, the only way that I knew was the American way. And of course, being a good American, I thought that it was the best way, or the only way. And then I came to China. And in some ways, I believe I was proven right that some, in some cases, the ways that you know from back home are going to be the best for you. But I learned that it wasn't the only way, and it wasn't always the best way. Sometimes the way that other people do things is better for a different situation. And that's something that you'll pick up as you come abroad, and it'll help you out in your life to get through problems that you might otherwise have been stuck on. Yes, new perspectives that you otherwise would never have known. The fourth reason to become an expat, love. Yes, maybe you're in a relationship that's come to an end. Maybe you've been in many relationships that have come to an end. Maybe you're having trouble getting a single relationship started. Maybe you think, well, I'm boring. I'm just like everybody else. I'm just the everyday man or woman. Well, guess what? If you come abroad, you will no longer be like everybody else. You will become exotic instantly. So even if you aren't the most attractive person in the world, you will have that going for you. You will instantly be exotic and different from everybody else around you. And that will instantly cause some people to be attracted to you, making it easier to start a relationship and therefore to find love. Now I say it all half jokingly, but seriously, if you're having trouble finding love or you're just not finding anything, maybe the right person just isn't in your home country. Maybe they're somewhere out there. So give it a shot, become an expat. So the fifth reason that you should become an expat, food. Have you ever been watching the Bizarre Foods guy and thought to yourself, hey, that looks pretty good. Well, actually, probably not. That's probably a bad example. But there are so many different kinds of food out there. So many cuisines that you'll find absolutely amazing. Uh, one of my favorites here is uh, Lanjo Lamien. I find now that when I go back to the States, I miss it. I can't find it anywhere. 
Food is such an amazing way to experience a culture. There's so many different flavors that you'll never be able to find in a restaurant back home that you can only find while you're out there. So become an expat so you can try all those different foods. So the sixth reason that you should become an expat, stories. Have you ever had a friend or relative that had lived abroad? Have you ever uh, been to the bar and there's some guy telling all these amazing stories? They always have these amazing stories. Climbing through the jungles of Mount Fuji and happened upon a lost ninja tribe. We were three days up the river in Vietnam when we were besieged by pirates. We were lost in the deserts of the Sahara, nothing but giant sand dunes when a Bedouin tribe came to the rescue. It was on the third day of meditation on the doorstep when the monks came and accepted me into the monastery to learn the true ways of Kung Fu. The only way to get those stories is to live them yourself. So, become an expat so you can have amazing stories to tell. And that brings us to the seventh reason that you should become an expat, opportunities. Maybe you just graduated from college. Maybe you've been graduated, you've got a four year degree and you're looking at your prospects and you suddenly realize that uh, just to work in a call center, you have to have a four year degree. And you're looking at the opportunities and just seeing that they're just not there. Maybe you chose the wrong, uh, the wrong, the wrong major. For whatever reason, you're looking around at the opportunities where you're from and you're just not seeing anything there. I have the solution. You can move abroad. Become an expat. Just because things are not looking so great where you're at doesn't mean that it's that way everywhere in the world. And so many times, a generic four-year degree of any kind can get you into a decent paying job in a country overseas with all of these great experiences we've been talking about so far. Maybe your interest isn't in a career. Maybe you want to start a business and you're looking at uh, the situation back home and seeing that it's too expensive or just too difficult to get started. Your opportunity to get started with business may be abroad. In many countries abroad, it requires significantly less capital to get started, and there's significantly less red tape. So why not come abroad, become an expat, and get started? Get your experience up before earning enough money to go back home and open up another business. Yes, becoming an expat may be just what you need to get started. The eighth reason that you should become an expat, it's liberating. If you're like me, you might not even realize just how restrictive your life at home actually is. It can be really difficult living in that mold. But when you move abroad and you become an expat, suddenly the mold no longer exists. You're no longer constrained by the uh, same old societal expectations because you're different. You're no longer around anyone that you know. You're no longer around any expectations, like I said. You're free to be whatever you want. You're free to be yourself, to do what you want. Yeah, this goes right along with what I was talking about, with reinventing yourself. You're free to do that. You're liberated. Nobody's going to be judging you in the same way that they have been because, as I mentioned, you're already different. You're an outsider, so you're not judged by the same standards even in the society that you're living in because they expect you to be different. So become an expat and experience that liberation for yourself. So reason number nine for you to become an expat. Friends. Yes, as an expat, you will make so many friends, so many amazing friends with so many experiences from so many different backgrounds. It's really amazing that I would come to China and end up making friends from pretty much every continent on Earth. It's um, a truly amazing experience. So many different backgrounds, so many different things to learn. And the best way to experience that is to become an expat yourself. And finally, that brings me to reason number 10 to become an expat. There aren't just 10 reasons. Go and become an expat. Go experience it and find out for yourself. Find your own reasons why you should be an expat. You'll find them along the way. But uh, hopefully these uh, last nine were good enough for you to maybe think about taking that leap. If you happen to be teetering on the edge and happen upon this video in a search for your own reasons why you should just go ahead and take the plunge, my advice to you, if you are thinking of that, go for it. Go have your experience. You won't regret it. And that brings me to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it and you uh, found it useful, then like, share, subscribe, and I guess I'll see you guys in the next one.